Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Mark Fixes Stuff. And we're here today with Mr. Steve Green, who's come all the way from... Where? Hertfordshire. And he's passing Camberley. Um, so he's dropped off something in the box. Would you like to tell us what's in the box? In the box is a BBC Micro B, courtesy of uh, Scott Goodman. Uh, delivered to you, Mark, on my way somewhere else, because I'm such a nice man. I'm really loving this dropping things off to Mark Fix's stuffed towers on the way through. It's very handy and may everyone keep it up. And there's also a bag with some mixed goodies. Would you like to tell us roughly, very, very obtusely, what's in the bag of mixed goodies? All of the rubbish that I mean, some very nice games of different formats just for you. So those will be coming up in a video really soon. So over to the lab. Wave goodbye, Steve. Bye. Hello, sexy people, and welcome to Yabo. Yet another box opening. That's right, it's another box opening for a wonderful 8 bit piece of computing history. Boxy box, box. I'll get my stuff out of the way first. You can see I'm completely unprepared as usual. And there seems to be some code on the box. Alumen. Isn't he one of the chipmunks? Alumen and the stardusts, or something, or. Alumin in the chipmunks. I'm not sure. What am I doing? What am I saying? Who knows? Who cares? Let's open the box. Now this was dropped off, as you've just seen from my preamble video, by Mr. Steve Green. A lovely, lovely chat, and we had a really good chat, and it was very enjoyable to have him around for a cup of tea. So um, thanks, Steve, for this. I do appreciate it. He's picked this up from Scott Goodman, our own Time Lord. That's right. And you can visit both of them in my group, which is linked down there. I won't put their personal profile links on because that's probably not a smart idea. Right, here we go. Three, two, one, <gasps> flaps. Three, two, one, <gasps> flaps. Look what we've got here, guys and girls. We have got a vintage BBC computer. And we've got, oh, look at this, a little SD card. Transflash adapter actually with what's in there is this has been storage for a while a 256 megabyte blimey that is very old 256 megabyte transflash good lord you'd struggle to um get one of those these days and it's actually mounted on top and that's a BBC Micro MMC interface that um you can get in various positions so uh, a nice little cable lovely and what have we got here we've got a case oh look another 256 dvrs mmc thing looks like another i think it's actually an mmc card um and a case which is probably for that one now because these are very very small images you don't need large cards and in fact i don't even know if large cards will work so what do we have <clears throat> Because I'm probably going to have to get well, look, a 512 megabyte SD card. Perfect. See, I'm probably going to have to get an RGB cable because I don't think that these have. Oh, hang on, there's another card in here somewhere. Another card hiding beneath its dirty flaps. Oh, look, a Kingston 256 megabyte card. So there's probably loads of software here. And you bear in mind that there's 800K on a floppy disk. Look at this beauty, she needs a little bit of a dusting, that's all. I might move that, I'm not sure about that being anchored on there. In the previous person's setup, this is probably ideal for it to be mounted on the case, but I don't really like it and it doesn't really fit in with where I'm gonna put my BBC. So um, I'm going to take these off gently. And I'm favoring the top of the pad rather than the metal or the powder coated plastic. That one's loose already. Okay. Angling the blade upwards. If I can just get the uh, no, that one's off, and same on the other side. No, let's see what sort of problems, if any, this is left. No, it's left. I need to be honest. Have to rotate this round actually. So I can. Best approach of it. Apologies, I'm not in focus because I'm really concentrating on getting this off with no damage. So, I'm 
and one last one here. Oh, unlock the blade. Twas it. There we go. Now that could be a lot worse. That could be a lot worse there. Uh, sticky pads. Yeah, not too bad. That's all going to come off. I'll probably make a box for that. Give it a little clean over with a brush. Um, obviously, don't do this at home because of static and stuff. I would usually use IPA, but at the moment that would use, um, involve standing up and I'm feeling very lazy after work. Good. That's looking a lot better. Excellent. Look, that'll come off, what do you reckon? Little squirt of my favourite cleaning solution, which is actually window and glass from um, Audi, I think. Power Force is uh, their own brand. I'm not using my lymph loop free cloth for this because I don't want to get them dirty. I'll use those secondarily. Yep, it's coming up a treat. Absolute treat. And uh, the lovely thing about this uh, machine is that um, lots of them, especially ones that are in schools, are all marked and scarred with postcodes. And uh, this one doesn't have any scarring at all. I'm well pleased. It's in beautiful condition. Okay, yeah, it's a bit dusty, but whose retro isn't these days? Let's see. Now that's coming off as well. That's there. I've never owned a BBC before. Um, back in the day, I was an Electron user though, so I always wanted one. But obviously, back then, they were super duper expensive, so that never happened. There we go. Video out. That BNC connector, I wonder if that's composite. Is that composite, everyone? We'll look, find out online, couldn't I? So I've got RGB, which I could make a cable up for fairly easily, or I could just buy one from a uh, computer shack, which I'll probably do because by the time you bought the by the time you've bought the um, components for the cable, you might as well have just bought the cable and saved yourself the fannying about and have a nice one. Um, uh, yeah, it looks lovely, doesn't it? Oh, I'm well chuffed. Thank you, Scott, and thank you, Steve, for bringing it down. Okay. What else can we do very quickly to this beautiful piece of machinery? Let's have a look underneath. All right, what have we got here? We've got a serial number. We have got, let's just move the camera jig up a bit. All right, so we're not very professional today. Okay, so industrial design by Alan Boothwood and assembled in the United Kingdom. That doesn't happen very often. Serial number before opening this case, ensure the power is disconnected. Printer, user port, disk drive, all that lovely stuff that's connected to the user port. I'm gonna get rid of these sticky pads, keep sticking to everything. Um wonderful is all I can say. All I can say, fabulous. This is um, just literally a little bit of washing up liquid on a very soft, not really very abrasive washing up sponge. And um, I find this a really good way to get these plastic textured cases a bit cleaner than they have been. Because what happens is the dust settles on the case, then humidity increases over summer. They're often stored in lofts, so they get slightly damp. Then what happens is the dust gets wet and adheres to the top of the case. And that happens for, you know, season after season after season. You have to remember that these machines have been sitting around for decades, actual decades. So as long as it's just a foamy sponge, you're okay. Um, don't go literally saturating anything, because that would be a stupid thing to do. <laughs> because water and electronics don't really mix. And then kitchen roll afterwards to mop it off. 
So I never use um, dusters or anything for this because it's a waste of a duster and you want something a bit more absorbent. So there we go. Okay, just uh, a very quick little video to show you it running. It is awesome and I'm enjoying it. Sorry, I'm just on a little tripod thing here looking at the screen. So uh, so we'll break out of that. You can see the uh, Turbo MNC ROM. Please excuse the video quality. Uh, just a quick um, show of how this works. Um, I've taken the Opus ROM out for the moment because there's some sort of uh, conflict going on. So. Um, We've got the MMC card, which you probably can't see. The lead's not long enough for me to show you, but I'll put it here with a card in, which doesn't have a boot menu. So uh, what we're going to do here is we are going to do a cat. So the first thing we'll do is a uh, it's dutils. So we're going to go D cat. Dutils are what you use with the card. They're built into the mod. Um, and we're going to do a Control N pagination, and then hit Enter. If you don't do control N, it just runs all the way off the bottom. Now to uh, go to the next page, you press space. So let's look for something that we might like to look at. Um, number 48, which is Airwolf. So uh, we'll just escape out of that. And then we use the command star D P O O T D boot. Again, it's a D for the uh, MMC utils. Space. And um, what did we say? It's 48, isn't it? Yeah, 48. So we just type in. 48 now if it's bootable it will run the disk if it's not bootable it will load the disk and then you'll be able to do a normal cat on that and load the game but it would appear that elf is loadable so press any key and if this is as terrible as it is on the sinclair spectrum let's see if i can get a bit of a better focus going on here i think that's better yeah um press fire to start Crap, I, stick. I didn't look what the. Oh! What the keys wasn't paying attention. Um... And that's bloody noisy, and my kids are in bed. Oh, there we go. So uh, yeah, the uh, asterisk. I'm beaten up by a tennis ball. I'm not entirely sure what I'm meant to do here, but uh, shoot that thing. I don't care actually. I can fire. Maybe it's that one down there. Seems to be unable to die and unable to care. What is going on? Have we got to shoot the floor there maybe? Okay, we'll give up on that anyway. So we'll just break out of that because that was frankly terrible. Um, and let's do another DCAT. Uh, control N, pagination, enter. How about. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Don't really know. It's very late for me. I'm very tired. Uh, 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 um. Boulder Dash, uh, disk number 122, so over here, escape. Again, we want to do a start, deboot, uh, what was it, 122? There we go. Jesus, that's loud as well, so I'm just going to escape out of it before my kids wake up. Anyway, that's how it works, very simple. Um, 
Anyway, I've kept you all long enough, so a big thank you to Scott for this wonderful machine with the interface, and a really big thank you to Steve for dropping it off at Mark Fixes Stuff Towers. For now, this is Mark from Mark Fixes Stuff signing out and reminding you to subscribe to get your fix. See you all really soon on the flip side, mofos.